fun, but it definitely came with some challenges. <sighs> Thank goodness for 2K. That's right. In fact, it's been an honor for us to share our time and our episodes with you, the fans, the community. And the big news is NBA 2K TV is returning for season seven. Yes, we're coming your way on September 4th. All new episodes of NBA 2K TV. Hi and welcome everyone here on 2K Sports. Can't wait to get some NBA action going. Kevin Harlan here along with analysts Greg Anthony and Steve Smith. And we'll be hearing from D.A. along the sideline all game long. It's the Sacramento Kings and the Denver Nuggets. Tip-off goes to Denver. Let's take a look at our starters for Sacramento. DeMarcus Cousins out there with Weber. Then there's Robertson. Then it's Richmond. And it's Archibald in at the point. Back to Cousins. Over Thompson. Second chance shot. Offensive rebound. And two free throws coming up. Unable to get that one to go with all the contact. It's going to be on Dikembe Mutombo. Defensively, that's just too physical. I know what the man's trying to do, but Cousins is wily enough to take advantage. First free throw is good. One of the more controversial players in the game. What's amazing through all the scrutiny is the consistency of Cousins' production. And Cousins drops them both. Here's Iverson. in off the glass and an efficient start here offensively working it inside for the easy two here's Archibald and he connects with the jumper this is why you're trying to get him as many touches as possible he's got the deck here's Iverson oh good on that one and Sacramento will go the other way with it and let's catch up with our sideline reporter David Aldridge Hey, Kevin, the Kings head coach gave me a few minutes. He told me it's always a challenge when you face a team this opportunistic. He said those guys are going to look to take advantage of any weakness. We have to really communicate defensively tonight. Guys, back to you. Yeah, thank you, David. Greg, real concern about getting outshot early on. Uh, what do you think they can do to prevent it? Well, you have to find a way to stay attached to the shooters. That means fighting through picks and helping one another. Which is going to take a lot of effort, a lot of energy. We could see them go to their bench early to try and stay fresh. Six on the shot clock. Here's Anthony. And another miss by Denver. They are out of rhythm. One for five so far. You just need to calm down and reward your matchups. Thompson surveying the floor. Knocks it loose. Pass to Jokic. That's in. Coming off the assist from Thompson. Just setting the tone with an aggressive move to the rag. And, and where's the help defensively? No excuse. You have to be aware. He should be on your radar all the time. Iverson outside. And it's Allen Iverson with the foul. That is his first foul of the game. Yeah, way to stand your ground. Had his feet set, took the hit, and got the call. That is a rugged defensive play. And a little over two and a half minutes gone here in the first. Pass to Archibald. With some arc, he takes it up and lays it in. Archibald's got his second bucket. Man, I'll tell you, when you get your floater game going, it's a tremendous weapon. Now Iverson puts it up from 17. That one drops for him. Good way to start this game. You want to get him rolling as early as possible. And we know once he gets in the rhythm, he's a really tough guy to stop. 
and he gets it to go. Aggressive move by one of the most talented bigs in the game. DeMarcus Cousins is focused right now. Pass to Anthony. Fires the three. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. Here's Robertson. Basket is good. He'll get a chance for one more at the line. In the painted area, it's where Robertson can destroy you. He's just too strong and too skilled. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. Nuggets trail by seven. First quarter of play and uh, just over three and a half minutes in. That one falls. Iverson's got six. And Weber's got the ball here for the Sacramento Kings. And oh boy, a lot of contact there, but he gets the call and will shoot two. It's going to be on Jokic. And how unique is Weber? A, a smooth shooting big man with some sick handles. The Kings shooting their fourth and fifth attempts at the free throw line tonight. Two shots. Free throw good from Weber. hits them both because he knows he makes a living at the line he invites contact and sometimes even initiates it Thompson and it's Thompson with the jam and he can time his passes so perfectly wow what an assist the pass to Richmond at the top of the key cousin 18 feet away and he knocks it down he's got six and their offense already in a flow some stellar shooting to jump out to this lead. Iverson with the ball. He has six. And here's Jokic. Lock at six. Pass to Anthony. On deep. Weber pulls it in. He's kind of lost his way this period. Having a hard time getting anything to go down. Passes it to Robertson. Baseline J on the way. And the Kings check on two more. And really one of the best at working kind of that in-between area. He's got that high release point on his jumper, which makes it unblockable. Now here's Anthony. He's gotten some minutes, but nothing on the board yet. Pass to Matumbo. To the inside. And there's Iverson. That's good on the assist by Matumbo. That's now eight points for Iverson. And they've done well at taking advantage of some late defensive rotations and getting the ball in the paint. The pass to Weber. Wants to get it to Robertson and does. Here's Cousins. Crops in the layup for two. Cousins has got eight points. He's hot this quarter, getting the shots he wants, and he's delivering. The Nuggets trail by nine. And Denver decides to take their first time out here. Steve, you know, there is some hostility we're finding between the media, some teams and players, boycotting of certain journalists. Coach Steve Kerr said it's a dangerous situation. What's your view? You know, I think it is from a standpoint of from a player's and organization with the media. But I think also the media, somebody's going to have to police those guys as well. We got to have it where we're both on the same team. You might not agree, but you got to be on the same team. I agree.
Kings on D. They have a nine point lead. Here's Weber. And then jammed down as he goes right over Jokic. Building up a big early lead. They have taken charge of this game. Play calling has been fantastic. They've been a step ahead of the defense since the opening tip. And the ball goes out of bounds. Last touch by Cousins. Off the inbound, and they call the foul, so he's got the and one chance here to make it a three-point play. Great quarter for him at the offensive end, trying to will his team back in the game. The Nuggets shooting their first free throw of the game right now. Free throw good, Iverson. Here's Archibald. Here's the teardrop, and the layup is good. Archibald's got six. <laughs> Defensively, they've got to pick up the intensity. Hard to win surrendering this high a field goal percentage. Now here's Iverson. He's guarded closely. Here's Issel, fouled on the shot and picks up two points. So one free throw coming up. They're finding lanes to the hoop now with consistency. Five buckets in a row from the paint. And this is his first trip to the line tonight. And the Nuggets making a change here. Abdul Rauf is checked in. Here's Thunder. Pass to Weber. Now Robertson. On the wings to Jakovic. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. Robertson's got three assists in the game. And how about that quick fire release from Stojakovic? Just a tremendous shooter. The D has to get up on him, even as the pass is coming his way. Passes to Abdul Rauf. Sinks the triple. And they don't want to get in a habit of giving him open looks from three. First quarter still, but not who you want to leave open. Here's Thunder. Robertson outside. And it's sent back by Jokic. Here's Abdul Rauf. Fires from 18. And he buries that one, drilling the rim on the way down. I'll tell you what, I'm not sure these guys can keep this up. Yeah, both teams in the zone early. Stops have been almost impossible to come by. Robertson, he hangs in there and cashes in on the second chance points. Guys, his consistency in terms of shooting has really helped them seize control. Here's Abdul Rauf. He has five. And here's Anthony for three. Drains it from beyond the arc. And Anthony is certainly capable of sinking the triple. The D has to respect that quick release and get out on it. Deep two from Stiakovic. No good there. Now the Nuggets take it the other way. And here's the fast break. Jokic leading the way. Outside Anthony. And Denver again with the bucket. Now here's Robertson. He's got nine. Floats one. And Thompson sends it back. And they're running. Here's the three. They get a bet. Challenging the defense at the rim. Something he does very well. Excellent tip in. The Kings trailing. Pass to Thunder. Weber with it. 
score the basket. His second of two attempts. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Denver. And oh, that was close. He draws the foul. He'll shoot two. That one on Weber. And really the defense fouling there to prevent the layup, but that's exactly what you need to do. For Denver, they have gone two for two in the game at the line. The first free throw is good. Some changes for Sacramento. Stokes is checked in for Cousins. Lucas comes in for Weber. And Bibby subbed in for Robertson. He hits both from the strike. I'll tell you, he doesn't give points away. Excellent job from the line. Here's Thunder. No points in the game yet for him. Now Bibby. He dishes it to Stokes, and the shot goes in. In that height, with that much of an advantage height-wise, there's just not a lot the defense can do. Nuggets trail. Here's Lever to the paint. Shots good by Abdul Rauf. Abdul Rauf's got his third bucket of the night. We've seen the lead change hands quite a bit in this one. And guys, I think each team knows they can win this game. Just a matter who can catch that momentum. Now here is Tijakovic. Poked away. Here's Lever. Feeds it to English. And the layup is good. And now it's a three-point nugget lead. And guys, they continue to put a lot of pressure on the interior defenders with their work down low. Stojakovic with it. And the pass to Bibby. Down to five on the shot clock. From 18 feet away, and he sinks that one, hitting the back of the rim on the way in. The Nuggets on offense. It's Carmelo Anthony on the wing. Pass to Lever. Back to Anthony from 18 feet away, and he knocks down the jumper. Anthony's got nine. And the shooting form of Anthony, just perfect. He's dangerous with the catch and shoot and just terrific at scoring when in rhythm. Now, here is Bibby. And the layup's good off the glass. Bibby's got his second basket of the night. Poor interior defense. If you play him soft, he's going to kill you. to the middle. Here's Anthony, and it's Anthony with the jam. Excellent timing on that play and a wonderful pass. And here's Bibby from deep three-point range, and no luck with that time on the buzzer beater. Back right after this. some good action in the books as we get back to the game that's been pretty close here so far and when you consider how Denver is doing guys what are your thoughts I love their effort contesting shots trying to intimidate here early on and you can see it's already having an impact it can cause shooters to think twice and so here's Sacramento 
It's a three-point game. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade as the second quarter gets going. So on the floor for Denver, they've got Abdul Raouf, and it's Lever in at the one. It's three on three on the fast break. Here's English. Nice pass, nice catch, and a resounding dunk. And that's how to make an impact with defense. Once the steal is made, you know they're going to be scattered. Here's Archibald. Launches a three. Rebounded by Anthony. Here's English. And the three off target. The Kings trail by five. Here's Archibald. And Stokes now atop the key. Six to shoot. Passes it to Archibald. That one, no good. And it's Denver the other way. Anthony right side. It's blocked. And so it looks like Denver will retain possession here. And the Kings making a change here. Richmond's checked in. Here's English. Lucas with the rebound. So for the Nuggets, their last game, a loss to New York. Stokes. Yep, that one goes. We're about a minute and a half into the second quarter now. Here's Lever. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. English misses. I mean, all period, it's been a struggle for him scoring the ball. Shoots from 14, and it's off the back rim. No good. And I was sure that was money on that one, but everyone has afforded an easy miss or two. Yes, let's look on the bright side. You got a great look. It's a play that you might want to go back to again. Here's English. Pass to Vandaway. Five to shoot. Great D that time from Lucas. Uh, more good work on the glass there. When it's all said and done, I think rebounding might tell the story in this game. And for those of you just joining us, we're almost two and a half minutes into the second quarter. Here's Abdul Raouf. That one goes in for him, too, making it look easy. He's now four for four. A little artistry in the painted area converting against the size. Proving once again that when you attack with confidence, good things tend to happen. Here's Thunder. It's Richmond on the wing. Offensive rebound, Lucas. And terrific work on the offensive glass when he picks up two. And you can't sleep on Lucas. I mean, he uses that big frame to kind of carve out space. Then he's savvy enough to convert when he gets those second chance opportunities. Here's Abdul Raouf. Nine points in the game so far. The pass to Lever. I'm deep. Lucas with the rebound. Lucas has got his fifth rebound in this one. Stokes the pass to Archibald. Richmond outside. Again, Richmond missing. Denver in the lead. Score the basket. Nice shot after missing his first attempt. Attacking the defense with the pass. Don't need to be a hero. Here's Archibald. A shot goes down and he gets this game back to even. Archibald's got nine points. And he found the perfect spot behind the arc there. Big gap in the deep. Lever passes to English. Here's Vandaway. Here's English. The baseline J. And it's Denver scoring again. Working in that mid-range area. The analytics may not love it, but that's a good look for him. Archibald passes to Richmond. Count it. Good. Richmond's got it all tied up now for Sacramento. And inviting contact. That's something that Richmond does as well as anybody. 
Lever passes to English. Takes it up with both hands and rips it down. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm -hmm. Trying to send a message with that slam, I think. Here's Stokes. Ball's knocked loose. Richmond the pass to Stokes. It's hauled in by the Nuggets. Issel's got his fourth rebound in this one. Here's Lever. Nothing yet on the scoreboard for him. Pass to Abdul Raouf. Shoots from the baseline, and that one drops for him. And it's a four point Denver lead. The assist totals, Kevin, just continue to grow. They're way ahead in that category. Ball movement has been flawless. Timeout is called first of the game for Sacramento. And some changes here for the Kings. DeMarcus Cousins is checked in for Stokes. Weber comes in for Lucas. And it's Robertson in for Thunder. Here's Archibald. Nine points in the game so far. There's the three. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Jokic has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Rejected by Robertson. Passes it to Archibald. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. And nobody represents the little guy in the NBA better than Nate Tiny Archibald. But, but forget about the nickname and understand that Tiny plays a big role on any team he's a part of. And he knocks down the first one. That misses, so he splits the free throws. The Nuggets leading by three. Inside, here's Issel. Lays it up and in off the pretty assist. Issel's got seven. High percentage look. This is what your offense is designed to do. Archibald passes to Weber. Out to the right wing. Here's Robertson. Good, and Weber gets the assist. 11 points in the game. And Weber, just one of the best passing big men we've ever seen. I love watching him share the ball and really revamp the art of the high post. That's going to be over and back. Not watching for the line that time. Turnover there, but for the most part, they've taken care of the basketball. That was one of the few mistakes they've really made. Tumbo is checked in for Denver. Robertson against Thompson. Robertson outside. Denver grabs the miss. Jokic has got his sixth rebound on the night. Robertson against Iverson. Down low. Robertson with the steal. The dish to Weber. Here's Archibald. Gets it to drop, and now he's shooting at a 5-for-8 clip. And, boy, he's really in a groove. Dominant performance last game. Same thing this time out. Here's the thing. He's a guy who will go on hot streaks for you over a number of games. Now here's Cousins following the miss by Jokic. And Cousins gets it to go. This is where the size of DeMarcus really comes into play. Defensively, you feel you can stop him, but he can go through you or over you. Here's Vandaway. Puts up a three. An absolute bomb from three point range. Vandaway's got five points now this quarter. Archibald passes to Weber. High arcing shot, and he lays it up and in. And there's a pattern starting to take shape here. They're working 
it inside and getting good shots from close range. Here's Iverson. The shot, no good. So the Kings will take it the other way. Here's Richmond. Count the bucket. And he's got a free throw coming up as well. Yeah, terrific play right there. Great strength to finish through the contact. And he's got his first chance at the line here. Denver making a switch here. Anthony's checked in. Stiakovic is checked in for Sacramento. That's good from Richmond. Here's Anthony. He's got 11. He kicks to Iverson. Here's Jokic. And the call on the shot that sends him to the line. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. No, I tell you what, he earned his money on that foul. Denver shooting their fifth and sixth free throws of the game. Two shots. Free throw, good. Jokic. That one is no good. And Weber's got the ball here for Sacramento. Richmond. And Richmond with the stuff. Go into the rack with energy. And the D afraid to cut him off. Yeah, got to chalk that one up to some shaky defending. In a close time game out, like out. this, everything has to be challenged. And everything has to be earned. Denver calls timeout. to Iverson makes that one his sixth of the night shooting a very healthy six for nine and not just that it's the energy and passion with which Iverson plays it just feels like any shot he takes he can make now here's Robertson 11 points in the game to the paint here's Cousins that's in coming off the assist from Robertson Robertson's got four assists now tonight the Nuggets trail by four. And there's the pass to Anthony. It's deflected. And offensively, they've gotten stuck on the perimeter, falling in love with the jump. Richmond with the bucket. Richmond's got 11 points. Oh, great ball movement there. Thompson outside. Lays it up off the glass. And, and Kevin, they started the game shooting it so well. I, I'm surprised they haven't continued. They've got to get back to their strength. Now here's Robertson. 139 left to play here in the half. Cousins, no good. Both sides attacking. That was good defense versus good offense. Thompson passes to Iverson. That one good for two. 
Now just a two point Kings lead. Resourceful move there. That, that was not an easy one to convert. Especially given the height disadvantage. I love the way he created space for his shot. A shot by Anthony. Nobody around. That doesn't go on the chance to tie. Robertson dishes to Weber. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And the ferocity on display defensively here from Matumbo. Just an incredible shot block. Thompson with the bucket. You know, I have to say, that's about as smooth as you can do it. Fantastic turnaround. Two for one opportunity here if they want it. And no doubt, Kevin, if I'm them, I go for it. Pass to Weber. Here's Richmond. That ball is good for another field goal. His sixth. He is six for nine on the stat sheet. This has been a tremendous quarter for him. Everything he puts up now looks like it's going in. Here's Iverson. Out to Anthony. But Trey. Good. And it's Iverson who picks up the assist. Iverson's got three assists now in this one. It has been nip and tuck through the first half. Exactly, guys. The way it seesawed back and forth, unbelievable. Inside, it's stolen by Matumbo. That's tipped. One second left. A shot off that time. And that's it for the first half of action in what's been a very close game here. Nuggets lead by one. And we'll be back right after halftime to get the third quarter underway. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. And we hope you enjoyed the competitive first half of action. Ernie Johnson here welcoming you back to the 2K Sports Halftime Show. That guy right there is Shaquille O'Neal. And that guy right there is Kenny DeGate Smith. A pretty close game from the Nuggets throughout the first quarter. At the end of the period, they held a three-point lead. They were outscored by just a bit in the second quarter as they go into the break now holding just a one-point advantage. Kenny, your thoughts on the Nuggets' first half? Well, there was a big spark from the bench in the first half. Sometimes you're hoping for your reserves to come in and just hold court, but they didn't do that. They actually got better. Shaq, how do you think Sacramento played? What impressed me the most was the effort they put into the offensive glass. Second chance points really added up for them. Fighting through box out, battling for position, they own the offensive boards. Thanks for joining us, folks. We're now just a few minutes away from the start of the third quarter. And as we get into this third quarter, as we've seen so far, neither team able to create much separation on the scoreboard yet. What a game we're seeing from Allen Iverson. You know, I don't think he'll top the assist charts this year, but early on he's done a great job of keeping the ball hopping around. And some of it's just a mindset. He came into this game with a very unselfish approach, and his teammates have benefited from it. And we're halfway through this one. Plenty of basketball left in a game that's been fairly even so far. On the court right now for the Kings. Richmond is out there with Weber. Then there's DeMarcus Cousins. Then there's Robertson. And it's Archibald in at point guard. Now here's Robertson. Robertson is double. To the middle. And the jam by DeMarcus Cousins. A better athlete than some people give him credit. DeMarcus entertaining the crowd. He's gone two for two at the line so far. Here's Thompson. That's Humbo up top. To the inside, Iverson. That's in for his eighth bucket tonight. A hot eight for 11 shooting so far. Important points there. Got him on a nice play, getting the ball inside and right to the bucket. On the wing, Richmond. 
And it's Denver with the rebound. Three on three. And here's Iverson outside. That one falls coming off Anthony's feet. Anthony's got his fourth assist with that last one here tonight. And here in the second half of play, we're just over a minute in. Richmond for three. Buries the long-range jumper. Richmond's got the game tied up here for Sacramento. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. Here's Weber, and Weber throws it down. One of the best passes at the center position. Just another way Cousins affects scoring. Thompson outside. Pass to Anthony. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Matumbo misses. That was excellent contest, preventing him from making something that's usually automatic. Archibald can't hit. I'll tell you what, I think he thought that was going in. I sure did. And the whistle blows as the basket counts in a three-point play chance right here. One free throw coming up. And love the muscle Anthony brings to the three spot. Takes pride in outworking everyone when he's that deep inside. This is his third free throw attempt of the game. And we're just around two minutes into the final half of play now. To the middle, here's Archibald. That's good. And Robertson with the assist. Archibald's got 14 points. They are just killing him on the interior. And stolen by Cousins. And up the court come the Kings on the break. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And let's see what Denver has coming up on Monday. They'll defend home court against the Utah Jazz. Then on Wednesday, they'll be matching up against Kevin Durant and the Brooklyn Nets. And for that matchup with the Blazers, there aren't many other meetings that are as evenly matched as this one. Both teams can give and take punches, and this one, I think, is going to come down to the wire. And he's good on the second. A little under two and a half minutes gone by here in the third. Now here's Iverson. Not a lot of room. And that one's in. He's only missed three of 13. He has done everything possible to keep his team in this one. What a performance from him. And stolen by Iverson. From the arc. Sacramento grabs the miss. Weber's got his fifth rebound right now in the game. And Cousins gets it to go. DeMarcus loves to compete in those situations. Rising to the challenge against good defense. Pass to Anthony. And it's Anthony with the jam. And once he gets clear off the screen, there is no stopping him. <laughs> no, not when there's a flush waiting to happen. That's a big-time move and a big-time finish. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Some changes for Sacramento. Lucas is checked in for Weber. And Thunder subbed in for Richmond. And it's the Kings with the ball. Robertson outside. Now the pass to Thunder. That one doesn't go. And Denver the other way now. Inside, Thompson. And the rejection by Cousins. Great anticipation by DeMarcus. His instincts are excellent pretty much in every phase of the game. Man, he's been on point, not forcing things, getting the most of his looks within the flow. And Denver has possession. Sacramento making their last shot. Iverson passes to Anthony. To the paint. Here's Jokic. And the basket is good. Jokic has got it all tied up now for Denver. And he's stroking it well. But he just hasn't shown the aggressiveness that they need out of him. Probably in front by more if he was taking more shots. 
Lucas, that's good. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Anthony, a perennial all-star talent, specifically because of that scoring ability, one of the best in the business. Archibald passes to Thunder. Now here's Lucas. Cousins inside. And he banks in the layup. Cousins has got seven points for the quarter. Taking the hit, completing the play, something DeMarcus has done his entire career at a high level. Pass to Whistle. Pulls it up. And good. Got the English that time as it falls. Whistle's got nine. Issel's gone four for four from the field. Perfect so far. Here's Archibald. Good defense by Jokic. Great defensive effort. Just saved a basket. You know what? This is why you never give up on a play. You don't know what's going to happen. I will say this about his shooting stroke. It's pure when he's got it going. Perfect so far this quarter. Robertson passes to Cousins. Robertson trying to break free. And there's DeMarcus Cousins on the assist by Robertson. Robertson's got his seventh assist here tonight. On the wing, Thompson. Covered by Robertson. Thompson passes to Issel. Back to Thompson. Shot clock at five. Here's Anthony. And it's Denver scoring again. Wow unconscious has he been this quarter they're riding that hot hand doubled by Iverson and the call up against Jokic that's his third foul of the game the Nuggets making a switch here down low it's good Thunder's got his first points of the night how about the inbound pass there easy bucket Denver calls timeout. And coaches looking to seize every advantage, maximize every possession. Critical part of the game. You have to be flexible. You have to be able to adjust what you're doing. making a switch here. English is checked in. And a change for Sacramento. Stokes is checked in. The Nuggets moving the ball around. Thompson outside. Robertson with the steal. Inside. Basket number eight for him on 13 tries. That's 62% so far. And how about the vision there from the big O guys? Beautiful. Here's Issel. He's got nine. Thompson, left side. And he drops in the way up off the glass. Thompson's got the game tied up here for the Nuggets. Great job of screening there. Nice job to take it to the rim and get the finish. Here's Archibald. Abdul Raouf covering. Robertson passes to Stokes, and it goes down two points. Stokes has got his third basket of the night right there. And they are attacking the rim and getting great results. Passes it to Issel. Pass to Vandaway. Shot clock at six. The Nuggets need to get a shot off here. Here's Abdul Raouf. That three off the mark. 
and you could tell he thought he had a little more space, but the defender was right there. The ability to close out on perimeter shooters is so important in today's game. Now here's Robertson. He's got 11, and the basket by Stokes. And we're seeing some great ball movement out of this group, guys. Here's Abdul Raouf. To the middle. Here's Issel. Oh, yes, he did. Five up and five down for him so far. He was able to simply lay it in over the top of the smaller man. Here's the pass to Robertson. Dishes it to Lucas. Here's Stokes. He's got eight. Pass to Archibald. Shoots the three. Another three for Sacramento. That's his second three-pointer of the night. One in each half. Trying to keep the defense honest. Denver time calls out, time timeout. Out. Stiakovich, he's checked in for Sacramento. On defense, Sacramento. Here's English. Eight points for him from 18 feet away, and no good trying to use the glass. You expect him to make that, especially from that distance. Passes to Lucas. A special move before the shot. Lucas has got four points this quarter. A beautiful bounce pass on the deck. He put it only where his man could get it. Pass to Lever. Laid in with a nice touch off the glass. Great timing. That can be the difference between an assist and a turnover. Here's Archibald. Abdul Raouf covering. Three pointer. And another three for Sacramento. He is starting to build up a little confidence. Hit just one three in the entire first half, but he has hit two more since then. And he lobs it up toward the rim, takes the alley -oop pass, and dunks it down. As efficient a score as you'll find. The English is just as effective in transition as he is in the half court. That, that's one of the things you have to admire about him. Archibald passes to Stokes. Ball stolen. Here's Lever, covered by Robertson, and foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. And even though Fat Lever spends most of his time on the perimeter, the man is a triple-double waiting to happen. He is the complete package in terms of scoring, assisting, and rebounding. Big fella does it all. First one falls. Tembo is checked in for Thompson. Sacramento also making some changes. Weber, he's checked in for Lucas. And it's Richmond in for Robertson. That one misses, so he goes one for two. Kings leading now by five. Here's Archibald, and that one is stuffed right through. 
And there is no better way to add to the lead. Isn't that true, GA, especially when the slam is coming from the point guard? It sends a message that we're going to be aggressive no matter who's taking the shot. Yep, it counts. English has got four points now in the quarter. It's easy to tell that he is most comfortable pulling up from that area on the floor. Richmond against Abdul Rauf on the wings to Yakovic. Issel grabs the board. The Nuggets trail by five. Abdul Rauf the pass to Matumba. Draws contact on the shot, and now a three point play chance as he'll head to the line. And so far in the second half, this has been a different kind of game than what we saw early on. And <laughs> this half, a more entertaining one. The pace is picked up, tougher defense, better ball movement. And Matumbo, no good on that one. And Matumbo, a defensive force, a long, intelligent player who plays well on both ends of the floor. Here's Archibald. He's got 26. Richmond with the bucket. Unselfish. Moving the ball. Love to see this kind of offense. 35 seconds left in the third. Here's Lever. Defended by Stiakovic. The pass to Issel from past the arc. It's hauled in by Stiakovic. Sacramento leading by five. Pass to Archibald. Richmond outside. Weber, the pass to Stokes. With one on the clock. Off the mark. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back. for all of us when I say I can't wait to see what kind of finish awaits us here in the fourth quarter. The Nuggets trail by five. We've got Matumbo. Abdul Rauf is out there with Anthony. And it's Lever in at the point guard position. That's the group on the floor for Denver. And he's able to get it back. Here's Anthony. Chris Weber with the rebound. Weber's got six rebounds here tonight. Richmond and Richmond with the stuff. On a roll here tonight. Richmond with a lot of offensive tools, and he is happy to show them off. Lever passes to Carmelo. Gets the bucket and the foul. That's good. That one on Weber. Yeah, just superb focus there from Melo. Overpowering the D and still finishes. DeMarcus Cousins, he's checked in for Stokes. That one misses for Anthony. They're not doing themselves any favors with their free throw shooting this half. And Weber throws it down. And how about Weber there rising up for the alley-oop. Great at recognizing there he's got the room to hammer that one home. A few possessions into the fourth quarter, just over a minute played. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Shooting for Denver, Alex English. 
And he makes the first. Allen Iverson's checked in for Denver. He's off on the second. Sacramento leading by six. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. It's going to be on Dikembe Mutombo. DeMarcus Cousins inside. He's so skillful and he's so physical. You have to foul him inside. Free throw missing. Denver making a switch here. Jokic is checked in. And the second free throw, good. And so it's Anthony bringing it up for Denver. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. And, and they continue to control the glass. Passes it to Cousins. Three-pointers to Jakovic. Good. And it's Cousins picking up the assist. Cousins has got five assists in the game. Here's Iverson. They're going to have to make a pretty big comeback here. I think it's be a mistake to let the shot clock in under 10 seconds from here on out. The three traps in the tray. Iverson's got 10 points in just the second half. Both teams running perimeter-oriented plays that are working. How often do we see this these days? Clubs answering each other from range. to Jokic. Takes a three. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got 11 rebounds in the game. Jacks up a three. And the ball travels out of his hands. It was last touched by Jokic. Sacramento making a switch here. Robertson's checked in. Oscar Robertson. Pulls up on the wing, uses the glass to drop it in. Now that's a high percentage look when the D doesn't fight over the screen. Reason why, it takes extra energy to do it. You have to trust your defensive rotations, but it's worth it. Now here's Iverson. Goes up on the high post. He squares up and sinks it. Iverson's got five points in the quarter. Playing from behind right here, not easy, but he is answering the bell. The reason why is not just scoring, it's the way he's doing it. Efficient. That's what you need at this point in the game. And generally, Robertson's a guy that likes to play free throw line and below, but here's a time where he steps out and launches from beyond. And he makes that one. 29 points for Carmelo Anthony. If you came to watch a scoring battle, you're in the right place. Yeah, both teams trying to close out strong. These are the fireworks that fans came to see. Richmond no good. The Nuggets trail by eight. Iverson passes to Lever. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. I mean, even from over here, you can see that one pretty clearly. Taking two shots.
first one falls for him. Thompson. He's checked in for the Nuggets. So he makes one of two as the second one misses. Sacramento leading by seven. Here's Archibald. Robertson trying to break free. Archibald with the bucket. Archibald's got 28 points for the game. Putting consistent pressure on this defense. Just the threat of him out there makes this offense work. And there's the pass to Carmelo. Sacramento grabs the miss. Cousins has got rebound number 13 with that last one. And here's Robertson outside. And it's Jokic with the rebound. Iverson outside. No good on the shot. Good D by Weber. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. The Nuggets trail by 11. Iverson outside. On the wing, Thompson. Outside, Anthony. Puts it up. And good! He nails it. Anthony's got 17 now, just in the second half. He has gotten into a terrific groove here, trying to wheel his team back into this. And Cousins kicks to Robertson. Rebound by the Nuggets. Pass to Anthony. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. Iverson's got his seventh assist of the game with that last one. Here's Archibald. Offensive rebound. Here's Weber. And he gets the basket. Officials blowing the whistle, so a chance at the line for one more. And you got to have respect for how hard Weber goes on that glass, using those huge hands to snatch rebounds away. The Nuggets trail by 10. Here's Mutombo. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. It's on DeMarcus Cousins. The line for your Nuggets. Ikepi Mutombo. Taking two shots. And that one misses. And all those missed opportunities at the line are starting to add up on them in this half. If they go on to lose this game, that'll be the first thing they point to. So he comes up empty at the line. Well, they've been better than good on the glass today, and there is a glaring discrepancy between these two teams in that area. Great player movement, great ball movement. That's fun to watch. Here's Iverson. Sacramento making their last shot. Let's it go with a three. Connects from three-point range. Iverson's got eight points here in this quarter. And it's encouraging seeing Iverson just bury the three ball. When he's got that shot going, he is basically unguardable. Man, just adding insult to injury. He just waltzes inside and extends this lead. A uncontested shot at the rim. You have to compete at all times. Here's Iverson after Chris Weber's score. Here's Thompson. That's good. Great play set up by Iverson. And Weber's got the ball here for Sacramento. 
They have a nine point lead. Basket counts. Richmond's got nine points now in just the second half. And they've had assists now on their last three baskets. The feed to Iverson. Terrific assist. A nice finish. Solid play all around. And really the scoring this quarter has been just off the charts. Doing all he can to bring them back. To the inside. Cousins. Good from the moment it left his hand. That makes him 10 for 14. Yeah, the chemistry has been terrific. Really impressed with their offensive execution. This is a two Matumbo. Iverson outside. Over Archibald. That shot off. And Sacramento will go the other way with it. He feeds it to Robertson. Kicks it to Cousins. Tries again. Out left to the wing. Here's Archibald. A three-pointer is right on target. Archibald's got the lead up to 14 now for Sacramento. Archibald's gotten four of his seven three-point attempts to drop, really getting it done out there. And they pick up two. Nice job creating for the easy deuce. Jokic has gone three of six, shooting from the field, 50% so far. Now a timeout called by Sacramento. Guarded. of our Jordan player of the game, DeMarcus Cousins. And his focus, guys, has been laser sharp, and his touch from the field, flawless. The teammates have worked hard to get him the ball in some good positions, and boy, has he rewarded them with a spectacular shooting performance. Great call to keep running all those sets for him. This was a big game for him. There's no denying that. Coming off a bunch of losses in a row. They turned to him to break the streak, and he delivered in a big way. And we've got an update here, so let's catch up with David Aldridge. During that break, Sacramento's coach had some words for the team. His key message was, don't get comfortable. Those guys are going to come at us with everything they've got. Let's bring the intensity and stay focused on every possession. Kevin, back to you. Here's Anthony, and stolen by Cousins. Up top, Richmond. And oh, he blocked it and deflects off the backboard. And that one, good. Archibald's got seven points for the quarter. Not a lot of resistance on the inside, and they're taking full advantage. Richmond against Anthony. Releases. Oh, they'll get another chance. Thompson outside. Picked off in midair. Robertson dishes to Richmond. And he uses the glass on the layup. Richmond's got 11 in the second half. I love that they're continuing to attack despite being up big. I'm impressed with their intensity tonight. They've came in focused and they've executed. Now, here's Thompson. Pass to Iverson. Launches it. Cousins pulls it in. Cousins has got his 16th rebound on the night. Here's Archibald. Iverson covering. High post Cousins. He's against Jokic. Archibald can't hit. The Nuggets trail by 18. They've been looking out of sync offensively. Yeah, the, the, their offense has ground to a standstill.
And the Kings with possession. He kicks to Robertson. He dishes it to Lucas. And it's sent back by Matumbo. And the pass to Iverson. They need this one. That's in there. Anthony with the assist. Anthony's got assist number seven for him tonight. Sacramento leading by 16. Here's Archibald. The dish to Cousins. And the shot goes in. Time out, time Cousins out. has got 26 points. Well, credit them for maintaining that aggression, even being up this much. They don't want to leave no chance for a comeback. Just focus on playing the right way. Denver calls timeout. They trail by 18. 131 left in the game. swap here for Sacramento. One thirty-one left in the fourth quarter of this one. Here's Abdul Raouf. Mick Dice up top. Pass to Abdul Raouf. Here's Vandaway. Bibby covering. And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. We always see these sponsorship patches on these uniforms now, Steve. This is the third and final year of the test run. I think it's here to stay. What do you think? I do, too. I think the numbers have also coincided that it's here to stay. I think also the revenue. I think people love it, and I think the sponsorship helps. And the first one drops. And he can't hit the second. No way he is happy with himself right now. He knows he has to knock every shot down at this point in the game. Here's Debots. It's good. The assist this time from Bibby. And the Kings lead by 19. Boy, that was a big shot. And stunned silence, guys. That's the atmosphere in here after that shot. There's 48 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Abdul Raouf, the pass to Matumbo. Just five on the clock. Here's Vandaway. Got it from 16 feet. His team is down because he's not shooting enough. There's no reason he shouldn't be getting more looks right now. Here's Birdsong. And again, it's Sacramento converting. Taking no chances. They go on one last run to seal the deal. Not messing around at all. They were focused, relentless, and they got the job done. Vandaway misses. Here's Birdsong. So it's the Kings winning this one easily. To come into an opponent's building and dominate the way they did tonight says, I think, Greg, an awful lot about this team. I, I guess they don't need home cooking to feel at <laughs> home. I mean, Kevin, just a masterful performance all the way around. Thank you for joining us. That'll do it for now. For Greg Anthony, Steve Smith, and David Aldridge, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for watching. So long and good night, everyone.
NBA 2K21 demo is out now, and in this episode, we're jumping right in. Plus, we look back at our best 2K TV moments of 2K20. And first looks at what's coming up in my team for 2K21. Sports welcomes you to the following presentation of the NBA. Welcome, folks. Thanks for tuning in to 2K Sports for the latest presentation of our NBA basketball. Kevin Harlan here with Greg Anthony and Clark Kellogg, and our sideline reporter is David Aldridge. We've got the San Antonio Spurs facing the Oklahoma City Thunder. And it's going to be San Antonio off the tip. A look at the San Antonio Spurs opening lineup. Duncan out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Robinson. Then there's Parker. And it's Gervin in at the two guard. And so it's Oklahoma City with it. No one near Westbrook as he lets it go. Cans it from downtown. Whether he's attacking the basket or squaring up from long range, Westbrook is always dangerous. Now here's Parker. He's now one for two with that bucket. Nice work by Duncan to lay into that defender. Now Kevin Durant. Robinson with the block. Here's Gervin. Oh, and that one, no question, powered it down. Yeah, and that's what you want from your point guard. Parker distributing the ball wonderfully on that possession. And Tim Duncan gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul. Well, that was a quick foul for him there. The refs are certainly calling it close. We play just over a minute here in the first. Parker against Peyton. Lock at six. Durant, the pass to Westbrook. Passion is something we love to see no matter what we're doing, and Leonard plays with great passion. A defensive menace who gives everything he has to shut his man down while still doing it at the offensive end, too. And early on, they've been nearly perfect from the floor. Just the one miss here on their first five attempts. Durant against Gervin. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. They're one of four here to start looking to get into a flow offensively. And that one drops. Well, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They keep getting it in the paint and continue to score consistently. And let's get your take, guys, on the scoring breakdown for San Antonio. You've got to like the consistency with which they're hitting that mid-range jump. They've been distributing the ball really well tonight, too. I mean, a decent number of assists so far for them. And that one misses. Boy, the smoothness, the cool, the calm, the length, the Iceman. Unique as a scorer and one of the toughest covers ever in the NBA. That's the kind of D you need when he's got the ball near the hoop. They were all over. And Duncan gets it to go on the assist by Gervin. And creating a little separation here, gaining some confidence. Yeah, you get the sense that they're going to start stretching this lead out a little bit. And first time of the game called for Oklahoma City. Well, it's been an express lane to the rim. Coach can't be happy about that. And, you know, I think he's going to tell them simply, we have to show more fight on the interior. That's the top priority right now. Here in the first, just under two and a half minutes played so far. Duncan with the block. And that's part of his game. Love seeing Duncan just sky up there to reject shots. Does a great job of utilizing that wingspan along with his timing. Right, 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 right. They need this. Good on the bucket. San Antonio leading by seven. Oh, 
outside Leonard. Spurs passing it around. Takes the 13 footer and Gervin kicks to Leonard. Five on the clock. And it's Parker in the corner. Let's the three fly. Hits the three point bomb. Parker's got five now. And it just seems that every pass they make is leading to a score. Just great ball movement. And on our sideline, our reporter, David Aldridge. Hey, Kevin. Well, I was able to talk with Oklahoma City's head coach for just a minute. He said they must take care of the basketball tonight. They're playing a team that lives off of what it gets defensively, getting out in transition. And he needs his guys to protect the ball. Kevin? All right, David. Sounds like they're plotting GA to try and overcome some pretty stingy defense. Yeah, the play calling is going to be key here, guys. You can't afford to be predictable. And, you know, that means not only does the ball have to move, but players have to move. Prevent the defense from loading up on one side or the other. Leonard, the pass to Duncan. His shot is good, making him a perfect two for two from the floor. Well, we've seen that movie a few times, haven't we? An easy bucket in the paint. Well, listless and lifeless at the defensive end. I mean, especially inside. They've really got to pick up that interior defense. Durant. Again, Durant missing. And, and he has definitely been struggling in this quarter. You know, guys, it seems to me as though he's over anxious. He seems to be pressing, trying too hard, moving too fast. Just needs to calm himself down and wait for good shots. And so here is Oklahoma City after the basket by San Antonio. He was all alone on that one. Boy, the sharpshooting of Peyton, admirable. You can't afford to give him daylight from deep. Gervin against Allen. And he finishes it off with a one-handed jam. And they have owned the paint so far, and the score reflects it. And, you know, establishing that physical dominance early gives you a big mental edge, too. Don't discount that. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. Boy, I tell you what, Kevin, you really have to admire and respect the work ethic of Allen. I mean, this guy is really intentional and purposeful in his pregame preparation, and all of that stuff pays off for him. First trip to the line for him here. That's good from Ray Allen. He's perfect from the line this time. Free throw shooting is about mechanics, confidence, and your mental approach. He's locked in from there most every night. They blow the whistle just as he gets it off. That's two points with a chance for another one at the strike. Displaying intensity right off the opening tip, especially on the offensive end. Tell you what, forget about easing into the game. They came out with guns blazing. Free throw good, Gervin. Last season, the NBA announcing the launch of a league in Africa, along with FIBA. Out, Clark, what do you think of that move? I think it's another example, Clark. Kevin, of the globalization of the game and the NBA's intentional, purposeful um, way of expanding and continuing to, to grow the game for the sake of the business of basketball, which is a game that obviously you and I love. And, Clark, we see so many foreign players come into the NBA and play well. Not just play, but, but play well. Yeah, and not just Africa, although right. a, lum, a number of players from Africa, but a, a number of different countries have, have signed on. It could make for a more exciting league. And they just can't seem to get going offensively. And I think this timeout, guys, is where you draw up some plays that are guaranteed to create some high-percentage shots. Now here's Peyton. Pass to Sigma. Back to Peyton. Over Parker. A second chance effort. Sigma the pass to Durant. And he could not get that one to go. A lot of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. And you can see that Durant has an incredible drive. He wants to be an all-time legend when it's all said and done. It's his first trip to the line. Two. 
That's good from Durant. That one misses. Yet yeah, that's another miss for him. They're behind in this game largely because he shot so poorly. Parker against Durant. 16 feet away. He is holding by Sigma. Uh, you can't look at the result of that shot. They'll take that whenever they get it. Well, you know, I hear you. That's a good look. But when you're that wide open, I think you got to knock it down. Here is Parker after the made shot from KD. Outside Leonard. And it's blocked. Here's Westbrook. Got a hand on it. No doubt he's struggling right now from the field. Let's see if he can get it going this quarter. Kicks it to Parker. Tipped away. Passes to Robinson. Now here's Gervin from deep three-point range. The offensive rebound. And it's good. Two points. Robinson's got his second basket of the night. And they're beginning to just flat out fall apart defensively right now, especially on the interior. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now, Greg. They've allowed from point blank range. Can't have it. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. Outside Leonard to the paint. That's tipped. Outside Westbrook. There's the feed to KD. That's good, and so Westbrook comes up with the assist. Westbrook's got three assists now in this one. Yeah, you look at the way Kevin Durant releases it so high, makes it hard to block, which is why he's such an efficient inside scorer. Well, you've got to be there defensively. I mean, that's an easy mid-range jumper that he'll typically drain. Outside Westbrook. Durant feeling it out a bit. This one for three. Kawhi Leonard with the rebound. And that one gives them a plus five rebound advantage, Kevin. Pretty clear they're dominating that area. They've come out with a lot more energy and effort so far. Now here's Peyton. George Gervin missing his last shot. Westbrook finds Allen. Peyton against Parker. Outside Westbrook. Parker outside. A floater. Bucket is good. Parker's got his third basket of the night. Ah, uh -huh. the soft floater from Parker is truly a wonderful thing to behold. To the left side wing. And here's Westbrook from the arc. Good on the triple. Westbrook's got it back down to a single-digit deficit for Oklahoma City. Parker against Payton. Pass to Gervin. And that'll be Oklahoma City's ball as it goes out of bounds. A different look now for San Antonio. Marcus Aldridge has checked in for Robinson. Houdini comes in for Gervin. And it's Robertson in for Tony Parker. Robertson against Wilkins. Eighteen feet away, and he knocks it down. A quick trigger, and from that range, if he senses the defenders have backed off, forget about it. Leonard against Haywood. Who's back up? And the layup good by Leonard. They've been sensational on the backboard to start this game. Yeah, sensational's a really good word for it, Greg. They're tearing it up on the glass. Now here's Wilkins. For three, Westbrook. It's hauled in by Ginobili. Oh, Leonard in position. The shot misses. This shot's just, it's not there right now. With this team leading, perhaps, you know, let's focus on some other areas of the game. Well, you know, he's worked on the perimeter jumper, but where DJ really hurts you is the dribble drive. 
Here's Robertson. But Thunder making the shot. They get a hand on it. Outside Aldridge. Six on the shot clock. Outside Ginobili. It's good. He makes his first shot of the game. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. If it's working, keep working it. That's what I say. Keep the pressure on it. Now here's Westbrook. He's got a bounce. And that one goes out of bounds. Last touch by Westbrook, who is checked in for Oklahoma City. Elliott's checked in for San Antonio. Spurs leading by 10. Robertson outside. Now the pass to Ginobili. 111 left in the first quarter. Count that one. Ginobili's got five points so far. This is as good as it gets for a first quarter in terms of shooting the basketball. Greg, you're exactly right. I mean, everything seems to be dropping. Impressive scoring here. Now here's Johnson. Left side Wilkins. 18 feet out. A putback. It's good on the putback. Oh, smooth. Guys, very good job getting himself in close enough that he could just tip it back in. Well said. Those kind of plays in the offensive glass can tell the story sometimes, can't they? Yes, they can, Kevin. They can't allow him to beat them to too many more of those. And it's in there. And boy, have they come out strong, really pounding the offensive board for second chance points. Ultra impressive, guys. Caught them off guard, and they've taken the momentum in this game now. And so Oklahoma City again turning it over. And this is like another case of Murphy's Law right now, and it's been their own doing, really, just like we saw there. And here is Ginobili. He has five. Just five to shoot. Takes the three. Tips it up, and it's Aldridge on the follow. And the Spurs lead by 14. And so it's San Antonio with a 14-point lead as we bring the quarter to a close. Their transition game has been in full effect. We've got more in store for you right after this. Welcome back to the second quarter of action. Plenty of basketball left to play, but this one has been one-sided so far. And, you know, the Spurs have been rolling right along, haven't they? They came in on a mission, razor-sharp offense in that first period. Yeah, I agree. That was a flawless offensive performance so far. I mean, the shots have been falling. They're making good decisions. That's a nice recipe there. And here are the Thunder now. It's a 14-point game. On the court for San Antonio here in the second. Robertson is out there with Houdini. Then there's Duncan. Then it's Elliott. And it's Aldridge in at the five spot. Here's Ginobili. Lays it up and banks it in. Ginobili's got seven. They're doing a really good job of getting the ball inside and attacking the paint. That's an area they have completely dominated. Well, once they recognized the advantage they had inside, it made a lot of sense just to continue to attack that area. Now here's Wilkins. To the middle, here's Haywood, and slam dunk by Haywood. And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. So it's San Antonio now, following the score by Oklahoma City. Back to Duncan. Shoots over Haywood. No good from Duncan. That's exactly how you have to defend him. He's a guy that the D needs to be aware of at all times. All right, let's catch up with our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. Well, Kevin, one of the things that teams are more aware of in the age of analytics is the importance of sleep. Those teams are making adjustments. Morning shoot-arounds have been moved in some cases to the afternoon or eliminated altogether. There are many fewer teams that are taking red-eye flights across country. Some teams even give players orange-tinted glasses to encourage them to sleep. 
There's a lot of work to be done in this field, but the direction is clear. Continuing to evolve. All right, David, thank you. Yeah, and at 7-1, Duncan is a problem in the paint. Outstanding with his extension there and just hammering it home. Now here's Wilkins. And he makes good on the way. And those are the kind of nice inside looks they've gotten here in the first half. San Antonio leading by 16. Robertson passes to Aldridge. Ginobili looking around. Count that bucket. Ginobili's got nine. Yeah, that's the third bucket in a row from the paint. This defense needs to clog those lanes in the middle. Pass to Lewis. Passes it to Haywood. Oklahoma City needs to get off a shot. Here's Johnson. No good on the shot. A bit long that time. And San Antonio has possession. 18 points separating the teams. That's the biggest lead of the game. It, it really does make the game easy for your teammates when you can lead them to the rim that well with the pass. Here's Wilkins following the bucket by the Spurs. And that one, good. And the combination of his quickness and soft touch around the rim really allows him to pull off shots like that. A lot of players don't have the reverse in their arsenal. Now here's Robertson. He's been quiet so far. Still no points in the game. Ginobili against Haywood. Ginobili attacking. That one is good. He's only missed one shot of his six taken on the floor. And obviously his momentum from the last game has carried over here tonight. And you know that's how it goes with him. I mean, his hot streaks, guys, don't last minutes. They last days. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. Every timeout a chance to review the lineups, matchups, or call a play. And I agree. I think there's going to be a new wrinkle in their game plan when they come out of this timeout. Now here's Peyton to the inside. Duncan with the block. The edge on the glass is the difference. It's allowed them to build this lead. And really a reflection of their superior effort level to this point. Um, it seems to me they've gone after this win a little bit more. Here's Ellis. Pass to Sigma. Second shot opportunity, and Kemp puts it in. Kemp is quite the talent as an interior scorer. Knows where to get it in order to score the ball deep inside. Hey, yo, right Ginobili against Dallas. Ginobili attacking, and it's blocked. They get it back. Yes, that goes in. And that's 10 straight points in the paint. The defense, nowhere to be found. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. <laughs> Peyton, a super vocal guy, constantly talking up a storm, always trying to get into the heads of the opposition. The Thunder have been successful on three of their four free throw attempts up to this point. Taking two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Ray Allen, he's checked in for Sean Kemp. San Antonio also making some changes. Gervin comes in for Elliott. And Parker's subbed in for Houdini. And both free throws good for Peyton. Parker with it. Seven points in the game. Gervin outside. Inside. Here's Duncan. Good, and the assist goes to Robinson. That's 10 points for Tim Duncan. No doubt about the consistency when it comes to scoring the basketball for him tonight. A real nice lift for their offense. Peyton with the ball. He's picked up by Parker. Down low, Sigma. Duncan with the block. Here's Parker. Over Peyton. Parker's shot is off. Thunder trailing by 20. Inside. And then Durant with the jam. Really love watching Peyton dish it out like that. He's a true floor general who does an outstanding job of getting his teammates the clean looks. Peyton against Parker. The pass to Gervin. 
From the top of the key, he buries it. Gervin's got 15. And the Iceman, he might have the biggest toolbox of anybody. He's got so many weapons, and he just has a tremendous instinct for scoring the ball. And that one's good, Ellis. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. To the inside, deflects the pass. And a look now at the San Antonio Spurs' upcoming schedule. On Sunday, they'll go back home and will be hosting the New Orleans Pelicans. And then on Wednesday, they'll host the Miami Heat. And for their matchup with the Clippers, this is one where it would take a complete meltdown for them not to come away with the win. Anything can happen, but I'd be shocked if they don't come out on top. Russell Westbrook's checked in for Ellis. And both free throws good for Gervin. Looking at the last game for San Antonio, it was a win against Sacramento. In the corner, it's Westbrook. Kept alive, outside for Durant. Sinks the three-pointer. 12 points for him. He's starting to find himself out there now. You know, he's taking much better shots here in the second quarter. And so it's Parker with it. He'll bring it up for the San Antonio Spurs. Over Peyton. Duncan trying to break loose. And he gets the friendly spin, and that one drops. And that's now nine points for Parker. Westbrook scanning the floor. From outside the arc. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. And let's see, guys, if that triggers another little explosion from him after hitting three triples in that first quarter. Duncan against Durant. The fader. Duncan can't hit. Thunder trailing by 16. Here's Westbrook. Again, the Thunder score. Man, you got to admire how easily Westbrook takes over games. I mean, an offensive juggernaut who is tenacious when it comes to scoring. Now here's Parker. He's got nine. To the paint. Here's Duncan. Knocked away. And here we go. Fast break. Peyton's got it. And foul on the shot. He'll shoot two at the free throw line. Boy, the size and skills of Sigma, pretty unique for a guy his size, and I like seeing that. Plays to his strengths and very consistent as a scorer. The Thunder have hit most of their free throws tonight, five of six. And the first one drops. We are having a lot of success from the line here in the second quarter. Leonard, he's checked in for Robinson. And so he makes both from the line. And getting to the line and hitting your free throws, a, a good way to get back into the game. It stops the clock and extends the game and allows you the opportunity to set your defense. They've been perfect from the line so far here in the second quarter. Got a piece of it. Outside Durant. That's in, coming off an assist from Peyton. Peyton's got four assists now tonight. Yeah, they've gotten into a nice flow this quarter. Yeah, looking to turn things around here, Greg, and cut into this lead. And San Antonio calls the first timeout of the game. Yeah, things not going their way, and he wants to just try to talk this one over. And you know what, guys? If for nothing else, just to slow things down a little bit, change it up somewhat. Now here's Parker. Nine points in the game so far. Let's go. San Antonio again missing. Thunder trailing by 10. Peyton dishes to Westbrook. Goes up on the wing. It's hauled in by Duncan. Duncan's got five rebounds tonight. Here's Leonard. Another shot. And they call the foul. So a chance at the line for one more coming up. You know, so far, he's been dominant this period, making the most of his opportunities. The Spurs shooting their fifth free throw of the game here.
Yeah, the quiet intensity that Duncan brings, J just incredible. He's a consistent force whose teammates really look up to. Now, here's Westbrook. He's got 14. Pass to Allen. Back to Durant. A three ball. They get it again. Sickman. And he goes in for the dunk. And that's a huge play. I mean, they need more like it because second chance points are going to be key in this game. Mm -hmm, probably so. That's usually a crucial element to any comeback. Yeah, and if you look at it, had they been converting those second chances all along instead of waiting until now, who knows? Here's Duncan. No good on the triple. Thunder trailing by 11. And now the fast break. Westbrook with the ball. Allen for three. Good. Nice assist from Westbrook. Westbrook's got his fifth assist in this one. And so it's San Antonio with it. Parker looking around. Leonard finds Duncan. Over Sigma. Duncan with the bucket. Duncan's got 15 points. Boy, has he put his foot on the pedal here this quarter. He's doing a terrific job in terms of leading their offense. Now here's Westbrook. Here's Sigma. Duncan with the block. And he gets it back. A second chance effort. And the rebound goes to Duncan. Duncan's got seven rebounds in the game. The dish to Gervin. Leonard. But they recover it. He's covered by Westbrook. Parker outside. Just five on the clock. But three. Can't hit that one. Now Oklahoma City takes it the other way. Allen outside. Outside for Durant. And another field goal in this total. Make it 7 for 14, shooting 50%. Man, he gets it done in bunches, does Durant. He's a superb scorer. You just got to marvel at his greatness. Now, here's Parker. Nine points in the game so far. Allen against Gervin. And Duncan throws it down. Well, you know, Duncan's too big and talented not to put a body on him, and he's always lurking around looking for offensive boards. Some nice passing by Oklahoma City here. Allen kicks to Westbrook. San Antonio with the rebound. Leonard's got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. It's Gervin on the wing from 18 feet away. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Left side, KD. Now here's Peyton. Tight defense on him. Here's KD. And he converts the layup. KD's got 18 points in the game. Nice job getting inside for the layup. Got the D thinking. Jump shot. Gave a little pump fake. And then off to the races. And so it's San Antonio in the driver's seat. Up eight points at the end of the quarter. They're feeling very confident shooting the ball with great efficiency and dictating the pace. We've got more NBA basketball coming your way in just a minute. The 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey again, everybody. I'm Ernie Johnson. Shaq is here. Kenny's here. You're watching the NBA Halftime Show on 2K Sports. It was all about San Antonio as the game got going. They blasted through the opening period like a tornado, at one point leading by 16. Good work for them all around as they controlled the tempo, leading by 14 at the end of one. Momentum shifted slightly in the second quarter, causing them to lose some traction, but they still ended the half up by eight. And Shaq, what are your thoughts on how San Antonio played? Well, I like it, Ernie, because they're just not settling for outside shots. You know, that part of the game is pretty when it's going in. We've seen plenty of teams try that and fail. Got to have a balanced approach. And tonight, they found a ton of success inside. Basketball and championships are won inside out. Trust me, I know what I'm talking about. And over to Kenny, your thoughts on the Thunder? Well, I think their problem is rebounding, Ernie. 
You know, when you're trying to come back in a game, every possession counts because each possession can turn into points and you need to cut that deficit quickly. And that does it for our halftime show. We now take you back to Kevin Harlan for the start of the third period. We played through the first half. Plenty of basketball, though, left in this one. And so Westbrook will bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Trailing here by eight. We've got Durant. Allen is out there with Peyton. Then there's Russell Westbrook. And it's Sigma in at the center position. That's the lineup in the game for Oklahoma City. Parker's shot is off. Here's Oklahoma City. Allen surveying the D. And that'll be Oklahoma City as it goes out of bounds. Thunder retain possession. And out of, out of bounds as the Spurs gain possession. Yeah, and I think he was surprised to see that pass coming his way and just really reacted too late. San Antonio leading by eight. Parker outside. Second chance shot, and the basket is good, and he's got a chance here for one more at the line. Yeah, I like the interior game of Robinson. Really does a nice job with getting deep position and then going to work. First trip to the free throw line for him tonight. He throw good, Robinson. Here's Oklahoma City now. Westbrook kicks to Allen. And here's KD for three. Trills the three-pointer. Durant's got 21 in the game. And that stroke of Durant, effortless. I mean, easily pulling up from the perimeter. Textbook form. Beautiful to watch. Now here's Gervin. To the middle. Stolen by Durant. Now here's KD, the fast break opportunity. Yeah, sure. I mean, it's hard to avoid fouling Durant, but... The problem is he hits nearly 90% of his free throws for his career. This is his second trip to the line in this one. Oh, take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And he makes the first. And both free throws good for Durant. Here's Parker. Nine points in the game so far. Right around a minute and a half. Played here in the third quarter. And the dunk by Duncan. Boy, an array of jump shots there and post moves as well from Duncan, who's a very efficient scorer. Here's Westbrook. And good that time. Westbrook's got 16. One of the things you've got to admire and respect about him is his aggressiveness at the offensive end. Always in attack mode. Pass to Leonard. Gervin against Allen, and that one's good, Gervin. They're consistently finding ways to get the ball inside and taking full advantage. Pretty clear, it's smash mouth basketball. Pound that thing inside. It's good, and the San Antonio lead is cut down to just six points and the bucket from Russell Westbrook. It's Gervin on the wing, defended by Allen, and he dunks it down. 
And one step ahead of the defense with that solid screen. And then, Greg, the monster dunk to finish it off. Boy, picture-perfect teamwork that time, guys. One guy sacrificing for the other. That's how you succeed in this league. For three, Westbrook and the Thunder, another three. And that's another three. And if really, if the defense is hoping that they don't heat up from out there like they did in the first half, they may be in for a real bad surprise. Now here's Gervin. He's got 21. Six feet out. And Duncan finishes inside. Duncan's got 21 in the game. I'm sorry. That's poor defense down low again. It's been a mismatch thus far in the paint. I'd agree with you, and I don't think they expected this one to be a game where they would get battered inside like they had. Fooled the D with the pass fake right there. 24 points for Russell Westbrook. And all of a sudden, that three puts them in striking distance, guys. He's had that shot working all night. You bet he has. I mean, working overtime. The triple's been his bread and butter in this ball game. Nothing but butter. Sweet butter. The Spurs shooting their seventh and eighth free throw attempts for the game right here. down the first one. Sean Kemp, he's checked in for the Thunder. Johnson comes in for Allen. San Antonio also making some changes. Elliott's checked in for Leonard. Houdini comes in for Gervin. And it's Robertson in for Parker. And so Duncan nails them both. In the third quarter with just over three and a half minutes off the clock. Here's Durant. Here's Kim. Oh, Are you kidding me? Woo! It's a beautiful thing seeing Kemp take flight. An unbelievable dunker who loves showing off his athleticism. Got a piece of it. Stolen by Westbrook. Here's Johnson. Feeds it to KD. Duncan with the block, and he recovers it. And they haven't been able to turn it into a big lead, but their rebounding advantage is starting to add up. Yeah, still close, but with their tough play on the boards, we're certainly seeing the effort. Good. Ginobili's time got out, 13. And guys, what do you think about the hustle stance for San Antonio? Contested shots and block shots. They're bread and butter defensively. They're giving up no easy looks. And also, guys, they take a lot of pride in their ability to rebound the basketball, especially on the offensive end. Now a timeout called by Oklahoma City. One of the top stories here, Tim Duncan getting it done today. Well, you know, he's destroying them right now, guys. This defense has to make an adjustment to try and cool him off. Thunder trailing by six. Peyton outside. Shot. High post. Kemp. And it's Kemp with the jam. Yeah, and Kemp is well known for his dunking ability. I mean, you have to keep him out of the paint or he's going to posterize you. Robertson drives in, makes it off the glass. And, you know, coaches will take possessions like that all day long. Phenomenal use of the screen there. Peyton against Robertson. 
Robinson with the block. And there you see why Robinson is, is the anchor of this defense. Massive wingspan, easily allowing him to turn away shots. Johnson can't get it to go. Spurs leading by six. Over to the left wing. Elliott against Peyton. From 10 feet out, another one falls for San Antonio. Well, I think he shot the ball well, guys, but I don't think he shot it enough. The more shots he gets from here on out, the more they'll stretch out this lead. Now here's Westbrook. 24 points for him. Outside Durant. Six to shoot. Good work there as it goes. KD's got 25 points in the game. Now here's Robertson. Pass to Ginobili. Shoots a fader, and it's Robinson that time on the assist by Ginobili. Ginobili's got his third assist on the night. 4-3, Westbrook. And David Robinson pulls it down. San Antonio leading. Now Ginobili. 13 points in the game. I mean, he is tearing the defense apart. And let's face it, they have not brought their A game on that side of the ball. Well, Greg, it was the exact same kind of offensive showcase for him in their last game, too. When it happens this often, that's, uh, that's not a pattern. That's uh, a characteristic. Now here's Robertson after the miss from Gary Payton. Ginobili outside. Shoots. Second shot opportunity. And the bucket is good. Three-point play chance here for him. And I like that they're not settling. Hitting the ball on the interior. Eight of their last ten coming that way. Sometimes you just got to man up and take a tough foul in order to stop these free runs to the rim. Catching up on the changes for Oklahoma City. Haywood's checked in. And Wilkins subbed in for Payton. That one falls for Robinson. Impeccable from the line since halftime. No misses yet. You can't do much better than that, guys. To end the run, San Antonio with the rebound. Robinson's got rebound number 12 here already in the game. Here's Robertson. Knocked loose. And wrestling for it there, but no one has possession. We'll have a jump ball. So it's San Antonio now. He kicks it to Ginova. To the paint. Here's Robinson. A rebound by Kemp. Kemp's got six rebounds in the game. Westbrook drives in. Gets to the rim for two with the D all over him. Westbrook's got 26. And you know Westbrook is fearless. Likes getting deep inside and finishing around the rim and plays in attack mode all the time. Duncan outside. The pass to Robinson. It's deflected. Johnson, the pass to Wilkins. Johnson inside. He's covered by Ginobili. Slammed in by Ginobili. Oh, he just punches that one down with a fury. And he rubs it in a little deeper with the hanging finish. Guys, they're not backing off at all, are they? Now, here is Haywood. Kemp inside. Robinson on him. Trying to get open is Haywood. That is good, and the Spurs lead is cut to just 11 on the basket from Kemp. Just a positive force right now for these guys, and though his team has fallen a bit short, it's not because of him. San Antonio calls timeout. And team strategies closely guarded. One aspect of the game the fans aren't always privy to. 
Yeah, typically there's some type of adjustment made out of a timeout. It might be major or it could be just a slight tweak. making a switch here. Rollins checked in. Spurs leading by 11. Robertson outside. He would against Ginobili. From the high post, down it drops through the net for his ninth bucket. He is 9 for 13 so far. Robertson against Wilkins. Inside. Here's Kemp. Tim Duncan with the rebound. Duncan's got rebound number 12 now. Tenacity on the glass. Plus eight in the rebound differential. One more reason why they're in control. Yeah, double-digit advantage on the scoreboard. They've taken the initiative. They've played, I think, with more purpose so far. And it's Brown missing. Yeah, and you could tell he thought that triple was going to fall. Robertson against Wilkins. Ginobili right side. Ginobili can't get that one to fall. Thunder trailing by 15. Guys, they're looking for a spark here. Yeah, a cold stretch offensively for sure. And so it's Ginobili bringing it up now for San Antonio. They led the game at one point by 20. And there's a minute 45 left in the third quarter. That one goes in. An elite score demonstrating once again how fast he can fill it up. Outside Westbrook over Bowen. And again, Oklahoma City, no good. Spurs leading by 17. It's Ginobili with the drive off target at the rim. Oh, and a fast break for Oklahoma City. And not relying at all on the three-point shot. Uh, they may want to rethink about stretching the defense a bit like they did in that first half. Now here's Robertson. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Robertson's got his second basket of the game. But when you allow good scorers to get uncontested shots at the rim, no wonder you're losing. Yeah, you know, he should be getting extra attention from the defense, not less... And here's Westbrook from the arc. Drills it from outside. Westbrook's got 29. What an exhibition he's putting on today. This is about as hot as you can get. Back to Robertson. And the foul called on ABC. That is his first foul of the game. It's Gervin on the wing. Spurs passing it around. Here's Duncan. Unable to get that one. And Oklahoma City will go with it the other way. Six seconds separating the shot and game clocks. San Antonio with the rebound. Gervin outside. That drops, and it comes off an assist from Parker. Gervin's got six here in this quarter. Not trying to rattle any rims or racks there. Just up and in with the finger roll. Outside Williams. Oh, and he nails it just in time. One eye on the rim, one on the clock. What a play. An ideal way to end the quarter with momentum on your side. And here at the end of the third quarter, it's a double-digit ball game. 
It's the Spurs. They lead by 13. Don't go anywhere, folks. We'll be back in just a moment. And let's take this opportunity now to show you our State Farm assist of the game. And he sliced the D wide open with this feed. They had no chance to prevent that basket. Yeah, that's just a brilliant read of the defense. I mean, it was also excellent anticipation of the movement of his teammates before the pass. Just great harmony on all sides. And there have been two very different performances from these teams today as we get going in quarter number four. All fueled up and ready to go. Let's reset the lineups courtesy of Gatorade for the fourth quarter. On the floor for San Antonio, Duncan is out there with Kawhi Leonard. Then it's Tony Parker. Then there's Gerber. Now here's Allen following the out miss by Tony Parker. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Allen. Parker against Williams. Parker dishes to Leonard. Here's Gervin. Free throw good, Gervin. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Thunder trailing by 15. Right side, Williams. Sinks the 15-footer. And you see the ability to rise and fire from mid-range, even against that length. You know, guys, if they're inside, that shot probably gets blocked. But from mid-range, I mean, he's able to get it off over the bigger defender there. Yeah, you got to honor Duncan from the mid-range. When he's got space to shoot, he does not hesitate. Leonard against Wilkins. Nobody near Williams. No good from outside. And it's Leonard with the ball. He'll bring it up for San Antonio. For three, hits it from three-point range. And the Spurs lead by 18. How about Kawhi Leonard knocking down the three ball? Didn't have that shot when he got into the league. Love seeing how he's improved as a shooter with the outside jump. One of the reasons they're behind is because we haven't seen enough of that. He needs to become a bigger part of the offense. Gervin outside. Pass to Duncan. It's hauled in by Sigma. Here's Wilkins. No good. Now San Antonio takes it the other way. To the inside, Leonard. Whistle blows. Basket is good. So a chance here for a three-point play. Oh, it's not easy trying to card Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. A different look for Oklahoma City. Kevin Durant comes in for Wilkins. And it's Peyton in for Williams. Robinson's checked in for the Spurs. That free throw good from Leonard. But, you know, when he was in high school in California, Kawhi won the state's Mr. Basketball Award. And you look at the list of guys who've won that award over the years, it has a lot of the all-time greats on it. Katie against Leonard. Six on the shot clock. Here's Katie. And he gets the bucket. Katie's got 27 points. Just a little under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Outside Leonard. Back to Parker. Parker double teamed. Leonard looking around. Clock at six. Passes it to Robinson. Fades away. 
That's good, and it's Leonard with the assist. assist from Leonard's got five assists tonight. Well, I like the stroke of David Robinson, especially from the mid-range area. I mean, softly lofting these shots up like he's in the gym all by himself. Gervin with the steal, and here comes the break. And a lot of contact on that one, so he'll shoot two here. It's on Kevin Durant. Oh, the, the officials are all over that one. Clearly a foul. I mean, didn't give him any choice but to blow the whistle. I mean, you got to play without fouling. Taking two shots. The first one falls. We've seen some ugly incidents last few years, Clark, between players and heckling fans. Can anything be done to fix it? Um, I think security in the arenas is important. Uh, fans oftentimes that go across the line in um, interacting with players are usually fueled by alcohol. I don't know how you could control that element of it. The incidents are few and far between. We have seen a few more, but I still don't think it's an epidemic. Um, but I think security and then each team and each franchise should really be educational with its fans about what's acceptable behavior and what won't be tolerated. I like seeing Durant slam that one down. I mean, he's just powering at home thanks to that incredible position. Here's Parker. Duncan trying to break loose. From down in the low post, it goes. And that's now 11 points for Tony Parker. And the foul called on Kawhi Leonard. That's his first foul. Peyton passes to Allen. Shot clock at six. Poke loose. Pass to Sigma. I'll tell you what, I love how Robinson uses his length as a rim protector and shot alterer. Shooters are always looking for where he is. And it's blocked. Peyton passes to Kemp, stolen by Robinson. Katie against Parker. Nice touch on the shot from close range. Parker's got four this quarter. Well, when Parker uses that burst of speed on the drive, he's nearly impossible to get in front of. And here's Peyton. He'll bring it up for the Oklahoma City Thunder. Down low. And it's Durant, that time on the assist from Peyton. And that's 31 points for Kevin Durant. He has definitely shown up to play. He's done his part, really just trying to battle his team back into it. He gets that one. Just a great playmaking sequence by Parker there, coming away with the assist. Peyton surveying the floor. Do you think it helps the pace of the game with the NBA recently modifying the shot clock rule that after an offensive rebound, it doesn't go back to 24, it goes now to the new number, 14 seconds. Well, I really like the rule because you don't have to bring the ball over the half-court line which is eight seconds, so it makes sense, and it does speed up the game, in my opinion. And here is Peyton. Kawhi Leonard getting his three to go. Now here's the fast break. Parker leading the way. Chalk up two there. Yeah, and even though he's a little older now, Parker still possesses exceptional speed. He really turns on the Jets in transition for easy looks like that one. Now here's Peyton. Allen outside. Durant for three. San Antonio with the rebound. Leonard's got six rebounds now in the game. Puts one up from 19. Another one falls for San Antonio. And that set them apart today, guys. Their success with the mid-range. Simply taking advantage of what the defense has given them, and they've really made the most of it. Now here's Peyton. The pass to Sigma. 
Oklahoma City moving it around. Will it go? And it's laid in by Peyton. Peyton gets free inside, doing a nice job. An athletic guard who has excellent creativity. He knows how to score in close to the hoop. Double team on Parker. Duncan finds Leonard. And that comes off the assist by Duncan. 16 points for Leonard. And he has starting to turn it on now after that slow start. Pass to Peyton. Clark, do you think we in the media overemphasize championship rings when talking about an individual player's legacy? Yeah, I think when you talk about an individual player's legacy, a player can be a champion without a championship ring. I know there's another level of champion which includes a championship ring, and sometimes it gets distorted in my estimation because an individual only has so much impact on a team being a championship team. There are no individual team champions. Teams win championships. Being a key player or a role player on the championship team is certainly worthy of recognition and being held in high esteem, but I don't like to see championship caliber players being diminished in the court of public opinion because they didn't win a team championship. Like Stockton and Malone. Exactly. You could go down the list a number of guys who just weren't, for whatever reason, able to get the ultimate in a team championship, but had championship Hall of Fame careers. So he hits one of two from the strike. Over in the corner, Brown. And again, Oklahoma City with the triple. It's been this way since halftime. Tremendous production from beyond the arc. Boy, it's been a three-point barrage. They came out gunning and have not stopped. Now here's Leonard. And that one's good. Gervin. Strong work for him at the offensive end, helping them to maintain that lead. And here is Ellis. Williams looking over the floor. Buries it down low. Williams has got four points this quarter. And it's all about the release when you shoot the floater. Gervin passes to Duncan. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. Brown outside. And the foul called on Rashard Lewis. That's his first foul. Go the other way. Spurs making a switch here. Smooth sailing for San Antonio. Silas passes to Aldridge. Robertson against Lewis. Clark, there are strong divisions and there are weak divisions. The NBA might be considering removing divisions altogether and having only two conferences. What do you think? You know, that's interesting. I like the divisions because that's what we've been accustomed to, but just having straight conferences, I wouldn't see much harm in that. You adjust the schedule accordingly in terms of how many games you play within the conference and how many times each opponent, but I think that could work. The first free throw is good. Well, I love his stroke. Aldridge has a sweet stroke and continues to produce a nightly double-double threat. He doesn't mind being the focal point of the offense. And it's Williams with the ball for the Oklahoma City Thunder. And that'll be two free throws coming up. Officials on the call with the foul. That's on LaMarcus Aldridge. Shooting Oklahoma City. First one falls for him. And Lewis, one of those guys that can fit into a lot of different roles. But depending on what his team needs, he's got a diverse skill set. He's got size. And this guy loves shooting the three. And both free throws good for Lewis. And even though they're down, they are putting on a show at the free throw line. Yeah, they're making the most of their opportunities at the stripe. And they'll need to keep it up to take the lead. They shoot again. It's rebounded by Oklahoma City. 
Haywood's got four rebounds now tonight. Swiped away. Robertson with it. Tipped away. And that's out of bounds. San Antonio will retain possession. Passes it to Silas. Here's Aldridge. He's covered by Brown. Shot clock at five. And the foul called on Rashard Lewis. So that will be his second foul of the game. We're in the bonus. And we'll go to the line to shoot two. Clark, any changes you'd like to see made in the process when players and teams are fined for any number of things? Incidents on the floor or off the floor? Well, I think there's a place for fines and the different amounts depending on how egregious the act is by a player or team makes some sense. I think having different categories, but I'm one that would rather hit hard and less often. So I think if you want to minimize the number of finable offenses, then make the penalty be greater for those things that are finable. Here's Silas. Knocked away. It's stolen by Brown. Near the three-point line, it's Lewis. And again, no good by Oklahoma City. Smooth sailing for San Antonio. Outside Aldridge. Pass to Gilmore. Here's Silas. Shoots over Brown. From 13 feet, it goes down. And nice job taking what the defenders gave him but these guys need a gut check right now well that's exactly the kind of defense that's gotten them into the hole it's rebounded by Aldridge Aldridge has got six rebounds in the game Robertson against Williams nice shot by Robertson what an amazing trick shot to confound the defender oh man that's awesome he's taking him to school right there Williams passes to Brown. Good on the shot. Mark, for a couple of years now, the NBA has released the last two minutes report detailing missed calls in any game. Does it hurt the officials to have that information out there? I don't think it hurts. It's um, not always comfortable, but I like the transparency of the move. I really do. I think when we're transparent about the human nature of what we do as broadcasters or referees or players or coaches, I think it makes for a better product. So I'm in favor of that. San Antonio with the ball. Following the score by Oklahoma City. Here's Aldridge. Knocked loose. 40 seconds left in the fourth. Lewis kicks to Williams. Whistle blows, bucket is good, and he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. What's up? Oh, it's always great to get into a rhythm, but do it when it matters. Now they're playing with urgency, huh? They could have done it much earlier before the game was out of reach. Here's Robertson. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. There's the pass to Silas. To the left wing. Here's Bowen. Almost, but it rolls out. Here's Williams. And so it's San Antonio. Easily taking this one. This crowd was stunned by the manner in which their team was dismantled. Yeah, you know what? Shocking. I don't care what the matchup is. You never expect a road team to come in and just cruise to the kind of win they did tonight. And that'll wrap it up, folks. For David Aldridge, Greg Anthony, and Clark Kellogg, this is Kevin Harlan saying thanks for being with us. So long, everyone.